All right, welcome back. Uh, to start, I know it is easier for you to actually achieve our prototype. Uh, let me look for the prototype. So, but there is something I want to bring out for you in this training. Like, you need to know how to style your, what is it called? So, these are prototypes. So, it is easier for you to achieve the true many means, but you need to learn how to use ID, classes, and all of that. So, to, uh, to achieve more professionalism in your work. So, now, to do this, let's look at our code. I... You can realize that from the beginning after body, I declare a divider and give it an ID name of new form. So this way, if I want to style it, instead of styling H2 separately, saying, okay, H2, text align center, and I'll still come to form, form, set align center, so, 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 so. I will just... Uh, Style the ID name new form alone. Are you with me? So I've done all of that because of our time. I'll just be showing you all I did and then we'll be showing it one by one because of time. Okay, so the first thing in you are seeing this color because I've commented out all my styling. So under my CSS now, you all see background. So I added a background image. I added a background image. And then I did necessary say background repeat background size. So after doing that, let me come and comment this out now. Alhamdulillah. We are looking at the now. So let's check now after I've applied this. Let's check what we have. This is it now. So our background image is there beautifully. So let's come back here. Then the new form. If you notice this one now, I use ash before I write the new form. So if you want to style ID, you will use ash. And you put the ID name there. Let's check the ID. So this is here. New form. That is the name I give to the ID. You can give it any name anyway. But that's the name I used. So you now add ash before the name. And you put your style in there. Text align center. Are you getting it now? So let's see. So let's see what you get to have there. Aha. So it is now center. What again? Let's go back to our H2. That's what follows it. So H2, I gave it a good color. So that has been done also. Now, ah, uh, now you will see that I use dots before I write form because that is the class name I gave to form. That is the class name I gave to form. Where is it? I have. So after my H2, I declared a divider also and and I declared uh a new divider i declare a new divider and name it uh class name form class name form so it is that class name now that i'm using to style all my forms and there is something i forgot i did not declare form elements 
for everything I did. It is very necessary because that is going to bring all of them together. If I did not declare this form element, the what is it called? This submit button will not may not function well. It may not submit everything here. But when you put submit button inside form, that is when it will realize that it needs to submit all those properties. So please do that. Open tag of form and you end it with closing tag of form. You should know where to put that before the this divider. So because I use class name of form, you can use it, you can use any name anyway. So I use class name of form. Then to start class name, we usually use dots. Don't forget to start ID. We use hash. That is what I actually want to bring out from this lesson. And you use hash for ID for class. If you if it is class that you declared, you use dots. You now read the name of that class. So let me comment this out again. So now, under our form, let's check our prototype we see that we have uh another background color so let's see that here then background color we apply this anyone you like then i go for padding then margin so now before this uh what do i do let me just misspell this because of time you will see what is going to happen now. See our let's see our form. So you can see this one now. It is working fine anyway, but it is too far from this sign up form because the margin I use works for every part. The top, the side, the right side, the left side, and the bottom. So the part, uh, the margin works for that. So now to reduce this margin between the sign up form and our main form, I have to reduce the size of the margin top. So I have to reduce the size of the margin top. So you can declare that separately. Margin generally before I use 50 pixel. So now margin top not to be out of 50 pixel. I have to use another. You see now that it will move closer to our base now. So it has now moved closer to our sign up form. Can you see how close they are now? This sign up form and the main form that has background. So what are that thing then our input? So uh, I start our input. So now input text align center background transparent, but all of this, none of this is strange to you. So none of this is strange to you. So let me quickly save it and come and view it. So this is what we have. What's the problem? See if it's misbehaving, you can come to this place to view. It. So I'm coming. Center. And then I'm coming in this time. Uh huh. So front side, top of the door. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 
So let's. It was actually fine before because I'm commenting out and all of that. So if you experience some kind of behavior, this is uh, a mobile view which we have not stated in our document. Actually, in documents, you can instruct your, what is it called? You can instruct your system to, to maintain the size of device, to maintain the screen size of device. Are you getting it now? So since we have not declared that, it tends to be getting on phone. So when you use this place, it is choosing mobile size, and this one is choosing a kind of desktop size. So now, I also declared uh, my anchor tag because this is our prototype. Anchor tag has good color too. So, anchor tag has good color too. So, I declared it also. So, it has changed. This thing is mad. That's one for you. It's just been misbehaving. So let me do my desktop view. So I declare this. Then what again? I know this one is not new to you. The, I mean the button. So you have width, height, border, border radius, font size, and all of that. All right. So follow this step to see how it works so designing uh styling your html using id and classes is essential because it's going to help you a lot it will not let you to be repeating what is not necessary all the time so see you in the next class